Hey, it's Liz. Welcome to the BioViva channel. Um, if you've already visited us, that's great. If this is your first one, I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to be talking about genetic testing, what it is, why you would do it, and what you hope the outcome to be. So sit back, relax, and here we go. So first of all, let's talk about what is genetic testing. And so if you haven't already watched, we had another video about what a gene is. So your, basically the blueprint of your body is, is made up of genes. And each of the genes has a combination of A, T, C, and Gs. When you look at genetic testing, you often look at the SNPs. What's a SNP? Well, a SNP is just a change in one of those letters in your genes. So why would we look at that? We look at that because one change in a letter in your gene might increase or decrease your risk for a certain disease type. And when we can look at a variety of them, maybe a hundred of them over your entire genome, we can actually see what your increased risk of a specific disease is. So they're associated with a certain risk or benefit, and that's what we're looking for. So why would you take a genetic test? I mean, a lot of people are kind of nervous about that. Do you want to know what your risk for a disease is? Well. Yes, because actually doing genetic tests helps develop medicines, therapeutics for the future. It helps what's called precision medicine to ensure that you get the right drug for the right condition. When you have a panel of your genetic tests done, it often comes with how well you metabolize different drugs. And so knowing how you would metabolize anything from a blood thinner to caffeine can be really important because we all vary in those aspects. I am a super slow metabolizer of caffeine, therefore me having caffeine afternoon means that I'll be up all night. And it's actually really good to know that. Those are just some of the reasons that you might want to know what your genetic risk profile is. Other reasons are to essentially plan for your future. So whether that be a genetic therapy or that just is planning your estate, it's really good to know, but should you do that? So let's hold on. What do these genes actually mean? People who have genes that are associated with great risk of disease often never get the disease. So hold your horses on planning your estate if you have APO4 because that gene is associated with Alzheimer's and yet not everyone who has that gene will get Alzheimer's. So we do suggest that you learn as much about your body as possible, but that you actually talk to professionals about what those results actually mean. BioViva is offering uh, an advanced genetic testing kit and it tests for over a hundred different diseases. But with that kit, we're also offering genetic counseling because we don't want you to go home with new worries and we don't want you to also also think that you can do anything with your lifestyle even if you have low disease risk. Everyone's accumulating damage. We are all accumulating the diseases of aging. So we want to make sure that you do the best with the information that you have. What does a genetic test look like or how would you do one? You can do them by blood, hair, or saliva. Most at-home kits are just a saliva kit. So you'll receive a kit in the mail. Uh, you essentially put some of your saliva into it, you mail it back, and then a, a company analyzes those results. So it's really simple and easy for you and you don't have to picture yourself doing things that are uncomfortable or outside of your realm of experience. Essentially, when we're looking at genetic tests, we're looking for any sort of variation or changes that define you or your disease risk and in looking how in the future we'll actually tackle those problems. When you do DNA testing, you actually are putting yourself into a situation where you can take actionable steps to change the outcome. So your lifestyle, your diet, and your level of activity are going to change the outcome of what your inherited risks might be. And genetic counseling is going to help solidify the changes that you can make to have a healthier, better life now. And in the future, as we have gene therapies that will replace uh, some of those genes or put upregulate genes that create regeneration, we'll be able to give you a more defined and healthier future. I hope you liked learning about genetic testing today. Uh, share, like, and follow us please. We look forward to you doing your genetic test, learning more about yourself and sharing that information so that we can help cure aging. Thanks. <laughs>